Hey y'all, welcome back. This is Jamie. I'm going to do a video today on the Swisher 44 inch rough cut trail mower. Uh, this is going to be, I was bush hogging with it and I've treated it pretty rough. And I got to notice it wasn't cutting and smelled the belt burning. So I'm pretty sure I've lost the bearing. So we're going to go step by step taking this thing apart and um, see if we can figure out what's wrong with it. All right, let's get to turn it up. To get started, I'm going to need a half inch socket, which I've got it on a 3 8 drive in an impact, and a half inch ratchet. Now there's actually six bolts in this back plate, two in the front plate, and then two at the front of the motor plate. They just screw, just come right out. They don't have no nuts, no locking nuts. But there's two more on each side that will have to have a wrench once you take it off to set the motor off. So, you get to take it apart. Okay, now after the plates are removed, we need the engine out of the way to see what, you know, what all's going on. So we have to unhook our uh, disconnect wires from our switch. All it does is make it up so you can hand crank it. The top one, this one, is a nine millimeter on this. So just take your nut off. Pull your hot wire off. Red's on top, green's on the bottom. And the bottom one was an eight. Just your grounds, all it is. So we're going to disconnect this. And then, just for good measure, so we don't lose the bolts, we're going to screw them back in place. Screw that back in place and put the nut on this one. Alright, now there's nothing else connected to the motor. The belt might still be around the pulley, but. This ain't supposed to do this. And there's ball bearings all in here. So more than likely, the idle bearing in here is uh, broke or bad. So I'll unhook it from the UTV and we'll see if we can impact this thing on. I'm using <clears throat> an inch and a half socket on this side and an inch and a sixteenth on the pulley side. I got a breaker bar on the back side. <laughs> Not much left. So I'll be getting a new bearing assembly or a new new top to go on this stump jumper. Both of them's gone. Probably years of abuse. But we'll get some parts ordered. Well, our parts come in. Uh, we've got, I ordered these bearings through uh, Amazon. That's what was wrong with the bush hog. The housing's still good, but as you can see, that's the outside race of the bearing, and it's not completely out. I went ahead and knocked the bottom out with a screwdriver, but, um, and my spacers are fine. The washer's fine. So I've got the bearings to replace. I've got to get this bearing off, 
and I'm gonna take the hub assembly out so I can press the new bearings in with a vise. So I'll show you what we got going on. As you can see, this bearing's raised just a little and the housing is all good. It's not grooved or anything, but we're gonna have to take this off to knock this bearing out. So I'm gonna get to taking this here off and see what we can do with it. Okay, to do this, three quarter on a half inch ratchet, three quarter impact. As you can see, the hub's still good. It's just, I done knocked this race out of the bottom. I knocked it out with a hammer and a screwdriver. We're fixing to knock this one out and press two new bearings in. So the hub was fine. Okay, I'm gonna tighten this up in here in the vise. All right. Take a long screwdriver. Get against the bearing. I have to alternate sides. There it is. Bearings out. Ready for new, the new bearings. So the, the jaw on my vise won't open up far enough to press this bearing in. So I've already set that one in. It's gonna take a rubber mallet. Hold on both sides. So we'll drop that in there, point to point. Then we'll put the bearing in. And knock it in. Now we're flush and everything lines up. So we got our two spacers in the center, new bearing on that side, new bearing on that side. So now we're ready for reassembly. You got a washer and a nut on the other side. Okay, I won't bore you with me tightening them up. I'll tighten these up, but first I'm gonna take it around to the other side and show you kind of how I got this thing propped up. All right, as you can see, I've got all my nuts and washers started in the hub, so I'm going to impact these on right fast and then we'll move to the uh, stump jumper. We'll just pick the bolt through. Rubber mallet. There we go. There's the busted race. So this is the stump jumper. It'll come up through the bottom. Bottom bearing goes here, which we've already got put together in the hub. You got your two spacers. Then you have this pulley, which will fit down flush over it. A washer on the top and the big nut. And it is a lock threaded nut, plastic lock threaded nut. And this bolt that goes on top, the nut, is inch and seven sixteenths. The one that's on the bottom is inch and a half. and seven sixteenths washer and pulley goes over here. All right. 
I'll tighten these two up and then we'll set back on the wheels. There's our Kevlar belt. We're going to actually pick this engine up, pull this around, and through just like that. Take the new Kevlar belt and do exactly the same. We're going to go through, blow the nut, and then back on. And then as far as the belt, the engine goes, line it back up on the bolt holes, go below the pulley, but you can slide the motor forward and get the belt on, slide the motor back, and then you can check your distance. As you can see, it's still on the pulley of the motor. It's up against the tension. And now we'll adjust the motor back. And put the bolts in. Okay. All right. Get our four nuts out here. And then our standard bolts. So these screw down the plates, they're pointed. These bolts here go with the nuts. They're the first four on the front of the engine. So you get your four nuts and your four regular bolts. So this one back here is threaded into the frame. I'm gonna start it. take our cover and go ahead and set it back on and it also takes the pointed bolts and our swisher plate will go here put your wire harness through line it up on the back and it will go there so the pointed bolts go screw into the frame which is the two back one on the switch, the front plate where the wiring harness comes through. Yep, get ahead of myself. I had to put these nuts on these motor bolts, so drop in. Just for the headache of it, or not being a headache, you might want to go ahead and, since you got your arm down in here, go ahead and just run them up finger tight so you don't have to fight with them later. Now one thing that we will want to do is go ahead and put our key wires, our ignition wires back on, which just completes the circuit to uh, ground the switch out so that you can crank it. So I'm going to start these back in and then tighten them up and we will crank it. On. Blades disengaged.
fixed and good to go. So, until the next video, we'll see how this, uh, I put a Kevlar belt on this time instead of the Gates belt, the A48, half inch by 50. Um, but I'll leave the links in the description below and uh, do a review on this Kevlar belt at the end of the summer. So thanks for watching, and as always, God bless.